Hey guys, today we are in Audi Q3. Over here I have OBD11 on the Android uh, um, device. And it seems like it's possible to use OBD11 for Android to perform parametrization. So if you don't know what it is, um, some changes, uh, some uh, settings are stored over here in this vehicle in various uh, modules uh, in coding. Other settings are stored in adaptation channels and uh, other other things can be sent to the vehicle by uh, parametrization. This goes for the R RMC um, uh, Audi infotainment unit because this, uh, this unit heavily depends on the parameters. So I was playing around with it and in the car menu I've enabled some options which are now visible over here but are not supported by the car. For example, wiper change position, it's visible right now over here but you cannot change it because the car doesn't support it, uh, not yet. And I believe also over here we have the rain sensor toggle switch, but it's also not available because I believe the uh, other electronics uh, does not allow to switch it on and off uh, via the infotainment system. Okay, so let me show you how to change those parameters with OBD11. First of all, you want your Android device, you want to be connected to the vehicle. We are going to the list of all modules and we are going to go to infotainment unit, 5F unit. This is the 5F address over here. So let's go over here. And second thing, we need to um, enter security access code, the 10, the 2010-3. Okay. And right now we need to change the service to end of assembly line mode. Okay, and now we are going to EEPROM. And over here we need to enter address, which we are going to read and then modify and write. I'm uh, going to enter F O O mm, uh, 5 C O. And we need to enter data length, mm, 3 bytes. Okay, and now I'm going to read the value. And this is the value that was stored in the vehicle. And right now I'm going to modify this and send it back to vehicle. And I believe this address is responsible for the for the wiper uh, settings and rain sensor. Okay, so let's switch it. And let me tell you that this is the value that we are uh, interested in. It's set to seven right now. We want to switch it to zero. And those two are uh, checksum, checksum. Okay, so this is uh, CRC16, I believe. And um, I already have my research done. So I know what's the correct checksum if I want to enter zero over here. So let's do it right now. Uh... Okay, this is how it looks. We want to store zero and this is the checksum for zero. So let's press OK. It's in green. This means that this was prepared to be sent to vehicle and was not uh, written yet. And right now we are going to press and hold on over here. But let me change the view so you know what's going on over here. Press and hold over here. It's sending. And the unit is rebooting right now. So we have to wait about 30 seconds and hopefully a um, new uh, parameter is correct and the infotainment system will work as expected. So let's give it a few more seconds right now. Still rebooting. It's on, so <laughs> hopefully it's not bricked. Let's go to radio. It's initializing. We have sound. So it looks, it looks okay. And right now, maybe let's go to car menu. Still loading, okay. And scroll down to service and checks. Yeah, we don't have the uh, wipers uh, option over here and go to driver assist. We don't have the uh, rain sensor option over here. So I believe the parametrization was done correctly. Sadly, those parameters for RMC system are not documented well. <laughs> they are not documented at all, to be honest. I'm, uh, I believe I'm one of the pioneers of the 
of the parameterization of the self-parameterization because uh, of course you can use uh, diagnostic tools official dealer diagnostic tools like all these to perform those um, procedures you can use uh, vcp to perform uh, parameterizations but if you want to do it manually and you know which value goes where you can do it now with obd11 okay so that's it for this uh, for this video thank you for watching give me a thumbs up if you like this and subscribe for future ones see you soon